Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Today we're going to be changing the differential fluid as well as the transfer case fluid in our TRD Pro 4Runner. Now this process is nearly identical for all four-wheel drive 4Runners, so go ahead and rock with me here even if you have an SR5 or an off-road. I'll put a link in the description for all the products that we're using today just for your convenience. Just note that the front diff takes 1.65-ish, the rear takes 2.6-ish, and we're going to have a little left over. I do have a fifth quart of the red line laying around. As for the transfer case, you can use the expensive Toyota differential oil, or you can do like I did and use the Royal Purple Synchro Max. It's nearly identical. Now, we're also going to need the uh, little gaskets and crush washers and I bought a pack off Amazon that comes with everything that we need for all three. In addition we're going to need a 24 um, six point socket, we're going to need a 10 millimeter allen key there. I also recommend using PB blaster to spray down your fill plugs as well as your drain plugs like an hour or at least 20 you know 20 minutes beforehand. We're going to need a drain bucket a little pump over there on the right so we can pump the fluid in and that's pretty much it. I also recommend having a creeper and keeping your forerunner on dead even ground as we do this job. Welcome to the channel guys. You guys requested this video so I hope you like it. This particular video is only going to be for the rear diff. I'll put the videos to the other in the description to keep this from being incredibly long and so you can do them in phases if you want to. So as mentioned guys, I'd used a little bit of PB blaster to go ahead and help to get these to break loose easier before getting under the truck. Now we always want to break loose our fill plug first, just in case we can't get it undone. Here's our fill plug for the rear diff here. We're going to go lefty loosey, just like that, we busted it loose, and now now even though this is the fill even though this is the fill plug, some may come out, so get your bucket prepared. Just twist this guy to the left. This is where those 2.6-ish quarts are gonna go in. And we didn't have anything fall out. So the fill plug is the one that has the uh, little hole in it, just for future reference. Next, let's do our drain. underneath your drain plug here, twist to the left, that should be it, sorry for the background noise, alright guys, twist to the left and get your hand ready to get out of the way, there we go, and I'll show you the muck that's on my uh, pin or my drain plug here in a second. But we're just gonna let that drain all the way out. Let's see what we got here as far as metal scrape uh, deposits on our magnet. Got quite a bit. This is a 60 uh, 65,000 mile fluid change. It was brand new prior. And uh, I think it's recommended every 35 to 50 if you don't take it off-roading terribly much. We take ours every now and then, but I'm just now getting around to it. So that was pretty dirty. I'll let you guys be the judge of how dirty yours was. So real quick while we're out here, this is our drain plug and this is our drain plug crush washer. So the kit that I showed you comes with new crush washers. That is the drain plug, here is the fill plug, and it looks like they use identical washers. The kit that I recommended comes with new ones, there they are. We'll replace that after I get these completely cleaned up. So I've got those cleaned up to my liking, and what we're gonna do is put our new crush washers on. The fill plug as well as the drain plug. My neighbors love to drive by when I'm shooting videos at 100 miles an hour. We appreciate that, don't we? All right, let's go fill this baby up. All 
All right, guys, so while the uh, drain plug's still out, I'm actually gonna flush some, uh, some fresh oil into the diff. You'll see it coming through and flowing out the bottom. This is probably gonna get a bunch of junk out. See that dark oil starting to come out again? We just wanna flush it until it doesn't look as dark. That's gonna help us out just to get all that trash. And this is another reason why we need that fifth quart. But if you're only doing this every 30,000 to 60,000 miles, an extra quart of oil is not gonna break the bank for the protection that this offers by getting that dirt out. All right, suggest you do the same. And after you get done, let's go ahead and pop that drain plug back in. Here's our drain plug. It's the one with the magnet on the bottom. I've got the new crush washer on, just like we showed you. I'm gonna get that hand tight and then go get my torque wrench. All right guys, so our fill hole as well as our drain hole are both 39 foot pounds of torque. Just double check that we got this one. Yep. All right, let's fill it up with the 2.5, 2.6 quarts. Depends on how much we have left, but you literally, if your truck's on an even surface, want it 0 0.05 centimeters from the top. So you want it right before it comes out of the fill hole. Pretty much you can fill it up until it starts barely coming out of the fill hole and you'll be fine. Here's kind of a behind the scenes of what that process looks like. It's a pain and it takes forever. Just keep on keeping on. So I don't know how much I used when I was flushing out the system, but there's three quarts gone. And I just dipped this uh, zip tie in and I can see that I am right at the fill line. I'm going to do this side too, so there's no oil on it. Just dip it down in there and we've got plenty of oil. So I'm going to say that it's full and uh, I can see it barely leaking out as well. I'm comfortable leaving it here. Let's go ahead and torque that top fill plug um, to 39 foot-pounds. There's our drain plug. Still got our torque set to 39. Woo, a little bit, a bit tight in here. Knocking down PB blaster. Now, as always, we're gonna check for leaks before we do anything crazy. There's 39. Get everything kind of wiped up here. Make sure if a fresh leak comes, we know we know that it's there and not just other crap leaking. And that's your rear diff. Like I said, we're gonna do the transfer case and the front diff next. Appreciate you guys checking out BT Willis Garage and the awesome recommendations you give for what you want to see. We'll see you guys soon.